Hey friends, how is it going? So, I have had this project on my to-do list for a while now, and that is to transform the office. It is like pretty bland, like so bland, and I've never really did, done anything with it because I never had to use it that often, but now working 100% from home, it's time <laughs> like i i haven't even been working in there these past like few weeks because it's just so blah like it's so uninspiring and i absolutely hate it so i got these really really cute um like wall decals and a few things to spice it up I'm always in the background um but yeah so I'm excited. I think it's gonna turn out really cute. I have a few things that I want to still get, so this video might include it, or it might, like, not, if I decide to just wrap it up, but then um, get the pieces later. I kind of, I have like a few um, pieces of artwork that I want to buy, but artwork is like expensive, you know, we all know. So maybe I'll get it, maybe I won't, maybe it'll be in this video. Regardless, you'll see it sometime or another. So yeah, if you guys want to transform a space in your apartment or your house or whatever it is, like this is also um, renter friendly since we are renting an apartment. It's not, it's like reusable um, appeal and stick wallpaper and all that jazz. So yes, keep watching and I will bring you along for the journey. Um, first, I'll go ahead and show you guys like some befores of what it looks like right now. It's literally just a mess. It's not like completely a mess, but there's just like nowhere to put anything. Like my desk is just filled with like junk because I've been waiting and waiting to do this and I haven't even tr attempted to like do anything in there. So yeah. Okay, let's get going. Before we go though, say hello. Oh, say hello, Nolly. Baby, the baby, the baby, hi, hi, mm, hi, Noli. Oh, thank you. Can I have um, some kisses? <laughs> Room 2110, I knocked on the door at the penthouse suite, cause I needed more from you. Oh, I wanted an explanation Red solo cups all over the floor And your friends passed out Sleeping in that bed You wanted us to hang out in I guess you threw yourself a party And you chose not to invite me Yeah, you threw yourself a party But you wanted me for a good time you said Text me when you get here You made it so clear It'd be nothing more than our clothes on the floor Only wanted me naked But you can have me kick and need it All the time All the time Whoa, oh, whoa oh. Whoa, oh, whoa oh. Whoa, oh, oh From 2110 What I to talk, but you kept slurring your words. Well, it's not your best presentation. I know you threw yourself a party and you chose not to invite me. Yeah, you threw yourself a party, but you wanted me for a good time when you said, Text me when you All right, what's up guys? It is me coming to you in the form of a voiceover because I, um, yeah, didn't like ever talk again. But I wanted to explain kind of the process and how things went down. So to start, I started wiping down the wall so that way it was like clean. There was like some scuff marks and stuff like that that I wanted to get off any dust or whatnot. And then I started cutting out all of the pieces. 
Peter helped with this part too, um, because I didn't realize that it would take so long to cut out all of the pieces, but we had to like cut around the strips. Um, yeah, so that's us doing that. And then I also had to get some cute Odie cuddles. You guys will notice that he just wanted to hang out with us like the whole time we were doing this. But that's okay, because he's cute. So here's the pattern. This can be fun. <laughs> Look up for me to let's go. Take me on this journey home. I don't wanna wait no more. Yeah, so after we kind of figured out what the pattern was going to be like, um we started laying them out and counting like how many different pieces we had so that way it would actually fill the wall and just so you guys know this process like the overall process took way longer than i thought like i thought it would be maybe a two hour project and it was like a six hour project i don't know it was something crazy but the end product is nice so it was worth it in my opinion but anyway we started laying them out here by like inches to see how many inches apart they would need to be and they were in a three and then a two group like groups i guess so there was like three in a group and then two and three and two to start the pattern off we probably if we had more could have done maybe four and three or cut them in half but i think the three and the two worked well how come the stars don't shine when it's day come the sky at night makes me this way so then we started measuring them on the wall where they would need to go to be centered from the center point and then however many inches away from each other they, ne they needed to be and then um taped them that way to try and just lay out the pattern and uh thank goodness for peter for this part because like not my specialty <laughs> also this would have been way easier if you guys had those like laser things where they like put onto the wall like straight lines you know i don't remember what they're called but peter kept talking about it the whole time and he was like i wish i had this but the tape measure works you know it works pretty fine if that's all you got peter started laying them out and then I was like, no, 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 these are not straight. So I feel like we did this process like three times before we got them even. Um, especially because something that I should have done beforehand is cut the strips like at the bottom and top the off the same amount because some of them had like larger white strips on the top or bottom of it, which made them look not even and so yeah that kind of messed with it so if you guys ever want to do something like this with a similar type of um like stickers or whatever make that's that'd be my tip cut off the extra slack white piece when you're laying them out so after peter did his part and helped me with all of the math and getting it laid out onto the wall i then took over all of it basically and started doing the actual like peeling of it um, so, I tried to be super precise with the first one, um, where I was measuring it out, making sure it was even, and then I got really, really bored of that. So then I ended up just kind of sticking them on, and I think that worked fine. <laughs> fine for this purpose, at least. You don't need me. I 
also mentioned earlier that maybe you guys would see like the other things that I was gonna do if I ordered thing like the art and whatnot. Um, definitely you will not see that in this video because like I mentioned this process took way longer than expected so this is just the um, cool wall decal installation and then there will be a part two to this office makeover series because I didn't think you guys would want to watch a video that long let's be real so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little mini part one makeover series. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!